Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking about September 11th attacks known as 9-11. On Tuesday, September 11th, 2001, the attackers hijacked American passenger planes and crashed into two skyscrapers in New York, killing thousands. These attacks became one of the most traumatic events of the century, not only for America but for the whole world. Four planes flying off the east coast of the USA were hijacked at the same time by a small team of interconnected individuals. Later, the attackers used these planes like guided missiles to crash into iconic buildings of New York and Washington. Two of the planes crashed into the Twin Towers, the buildings of the World Trade Center in New York. The first plane crashed into the North Tower at 8.46 local time. People trying to understand what happened in the bewilderment of this incredible attack on the USA rushed to the television. At 9.03, 17 minutes after the first attack, the whole world watched live as United Airlines Flight 175, hijacked by five terrorists, crashed into the South Tower. Everything was developing as the hijackers wanted. Panic, fear and a sense of helplessness not only enslaved those who were attacked in the towers but also spread to millions of people on the screen. As the buildings began to burn, people working on the upper floors were stranded, the city was covered with a thick layer of smoke. In less than two hours, two 110-story skyscrapers collapsed, creating a massive dust cloud. At 9.37, the third plane crashed into the western part of the Pentagon near the capital, Washington, D.C. The fourth plane crashed in an open area in Pennsylvania at 10.03 with the intervention of passengers. If there had been no intervention, the hijackers would have been in the capital the U.S. Capitol was presumed to be targeted. About 200 people in the Twin Towers threw themselves from a height of about 400 meters in hopes of one last escape. During the September 11, 2001 attacks, 2,977 people were killed, 19 hijackers committed murder-suicide, and more than 6,000 others were injured. Of the 2,977 fatal victims, 2,753 were killed in the World Trade Center and the surrounding area, 184 at the Pentagon, and 40 in Pennsylvania. Health issues. Hundreds of thousands of tons of toxic debris containing more than 2,500 contaminants, including known carcinogens, were spread across Lower Manhattan due to the Twin Towers collapse. Health effects extended to residents, students, and office workers of Lower Manhattan and nearby Chinatown. Several deaths have been linked to the toxic dust, and the victims' names were included in the World Trade Center Memorial. Approximately 18,000 people have been estimated to have developed illnesses as a result of the toxic dust. Economic In New York City, approximately 430,000 jobs were lost and there were $2.8 billion in lost wages over the three months following the 9-11 attacks. The economic effects were mainly focused on the city's export economy sectors. Gold prices spiked upwards, from $215.50 to $287 an ounce in London trading. Oil prices also spiked upwards. Gas prices in the United States also briefly shot up though the spike in prices lasted only about one week. The 9-11 attacks compounded financial troubles that the airline industry already was experiencing before the attacks. Share prices of airlines and airplane manufacturers plummeted after the attacks to help the industry. The federal government provided an aid package to the industry, including $10 billion in loan guarantees, along with $5 billion for short-term assistance. Tourism in New York City plummeted, causing massive losses in a sector which employed 280,000 people and generated $25 billion per year. Cultural influence The culture of America succeeding the attacks is noted for heightened security and an increased demand thereof, as well as paranoia and anxiety regarding future terrorist attacks that includes most of the nation. Anti-Muslim hate crimes rose nearly tenfold in 2001 and have subsequently remained roughly five times higher than the pre-9-11 rate. New York City Fire Department On September 11, the Battalion Chief of Battalion 1 witnessed American Airlines Flight 11 crash into the North Tower of the World Trade Center and immediately radioed a multiple alarm incident. Over the course of the next three hours, 121 engine companies, 62 ladder companies and 27 fire officers were deployed to the scene. All off-duty firefighters were recalled, the first time the FDNY had issued a total recall in over 30 years.
Port Authority Police Department. The Port Authority Police Department suffered one of the worst loss of life ever in a single event in the history of policing in the United States, losing 37 officers in the 9-11 attacks. New York City Police Department. New York City Police Department officers saw Flight 11's impact with the North Tower and immediately reported it to dispatchers. 10 minutes after Flight 11's impact and 7 minutes before Flight 175's impact, the NYPD Chief of Department was en route to the scene and raised the police mobilization to level 4, thereby sending around 22 lieutenants, 100 sergeants, and 800 police officers to the World Trade Center. The 23 NYPD officers, including four sergeants and two detectives, died at the scene. Private Emergency Medical Services Eight emergency medical technicians and paramedics from private emergency medical services lost their lives while responding to the World Trade Center. New York State Court Officers Three New York State Court Officers died while helping people evacuate and providing aid. Senior Court Officers Jurgens and Wallace were posthumously promoted to sergeant. New York Fire Patrol The number 343 is indelibly linked with September 11, 2001, the official number of firefighters killed on September 11. However, a 344th New York City firefighter was found to be killed at the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. Keith Romo was last seen alive at the FDNY command post of Tower 1. His body wouldn't be found until Christmas Eve, surrounded by nine more evacuees he was attempting to escort to safety in his last moments. He was the only member of the New York Fire Patrol that day to die. But Roma is not officially included in the final somber tally of 343 because the New York Fire Patrol is not part of the FDNY. Federal Bureau of Investigation Leonard W. Hatton, 45, Special Agent from the FBI's Joint Bank Robbery Task Force, responded on his own initiative to the WTC. Special Agent Hatton died whilst helping the FDNY evacuate people from the towers. Rebuilding, after 9-11 on the day of the attacks, New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani stated, We will rebuild. We're going to come out of this stronger than before, politically stronger, economically stronger. The skyline will be made whole again. On the World Trade Center site, three more office towers were to be built one block east of where the original tower stood. Four WTC, meanwhile, opened in November 2013, making it the second tower on the site to open behind seven World Trade Center, as well as the first building on the Port Authority property. 3 WTC opened on June 11, 2018, becoming the fourth skyscraper at the site to be completed. Theories Conspiracy theories about the September 11 attacks are various conspiracy theories that the events that took place on September 11, 2001 were false flag attacks. According to some claims, the events of September 11 are scenarios designed by the American government and secret services to legitimize the occupation activities against the Middle East and Afghanistan and to gain the support of the country and world public opinion. According to a survey conducted by the New York Times, three out of four Americans said they suspected the government was not telling the truth about the 9-11 events. In the process from the aftermath of the attacks to the present, Various conspiracy theories have been put forward by various individuals and groups from within and outside the United States, stating that the attacks were organized by the American government or secret services. Various conspiracy theories are put forward by some circles, especially the theory that the attack was carried out by the U.S. administration, to create a justification for starting an invasion operation against the Middle East. Memorial The Tribute in Light was the first major physical memorial at the World Trade Center site. A permanent memorial and museum, the National September 11 Memorial and Museum at the World Trade Center, were built as part of the design for overall site redevelopment. The memorial consists of two massive pools set within the original footprints of the Twin Towers with 9.1 meters waterfalls cascading down their sides. The names of the victims of the attacks are inscribed around the edges of the waterfalls. Other permanent memorials have been constructed around the world. The National September 11th Memorial and Museum is a memorial and museum in New York City commemorating the September 11, 2001 attacks, which killed 2,977 people, and the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, which killed six. The memorial is located at the World Trade Center site, the former location of the Twin Towers that were destroyed during the September 11 attacks.
If we don't end war, war will end US. Herbert George Wells Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.